Number seventeen. We are going to solve an equation that has a square root. The first step is to try to isolate the square root. Okay, so here we have、uh, square root of eighteen minus x minus two is equal to x. To isolate the square root, we see that we have the negative two on the outside, right? We are subtracting two on the outside. That's plus two on both sides first. So this cancels to zero, and now we will get square root of eighteen minus x. That's equal to x plus two. Now, once the square root is isolated, what we can do is square both sides. So put a big parenthesis, square, raise this side to the second power. We will do the same on the right hand side. Put a big parenthesis, square the whole thing, right? Raise this to the second power. The nice thing about square root and square is that they cancel each other out. So on the left hand side, you get eighteen minus x. That's equal to this side,、uh, x plus two square. I will suggest you guys to just work this out on the side. So this means、um, I'll just do it right here. This means x plus two times x plus two. So to work this out, you take the x, multiply with the x, you get x square. Take x times the two, you get plus two x. Take this two, multiply with that x, you get plus two x. Two times two, you get plus four. At the end, we can combine terms. So you have x square, the two x, and then the two x.、Um, when you add them, it becomes plus four x, and then plus four. So this, you just need to work this out on the side, and we get x square plus four x plus four. And now we have a quadratic equate,、uh, equation because we have、uh, x to the second power. So the strategy is make one side equal to zero, and Um, you want to keep the x square positive, so I want to move these things to the right hand side. I want to move this to the right hand side. So I have the number eighteen right here. Let me minus eighteen right here, and then I will line up with the number, which is a four, and I want to subtract eighteen. So that's zero, okay? And then、um, I have a negative x right here. Let me add the x. I add the x on the left hand side. Let me go to the right hand side, and then I'll put the plus x right here. Line up with the x, and this becomes zero as well. So altogether, the left hand side zero equals to I have x、uh, square. Um, four x plus x is plus five x. Four minus eighteen is negative fourteen. So make one side equal to zero, and then we did it. Next, we want to try to factor this one out. Okay,、uh, let's see. I have x square, so let's get ready by putting two parentheses to get x square. Let me put x and x that produce the x square. The minus fourteen. Think about what times what will be negative fourteen, and they add up to positive five. I think the correct combination should be seven and negative two, and I think that will work. Plus seven, minus two. And you can just do the check, okay? You can just do the check. Seven minus two is positive five, and then seven times negative two is negative fourteen. Sometimes you just have to kind of、um, guess and check a little bit to do factoring. Now、uh, we have two things multiplied that's equal to zero, so we are going to set each factor equal to zero. Set the first one, x plus seven, equals to zero, or the second one, x minus two. It's equal to zero. X minus two. I want to set that equal to zero. The zero product property. Then we can just minus seven on both sides right here, and then we get x is equal to negative seven. Then right here, x minus two is equal to zero. I can just add two on both sides, and I get x is equal to positive two. So are we done? Are they both the answers? Be really careful. Whenever you are dealing with square roots or、um, rational equations, always, always check answer. Always check answer, and always look back to the original, original equation. So original equation. Let me just write it down, which is square root of eighteen minus x, and then minus two, and then we have、um, that's equal to x. So that's the original. 
So now we are going to see if when we plug in negative 7 into the x and then plug in 2 into the x, if they will work or not. So uh, let me put this up. Let me put this up. I will say check if x equal to negative 7 will work. And then I also need to do a check for x equal to um, 2. This is just a check. So plugging negative 7 into x from the original equation, we get square root of 18. After minus from the original equation, the x, I'm going to put parentheses, the x is negative 7. So plugging negative 7 into the parentheses. And then minus 2, minus 2 from the equation, that's equal to x. And x right here is negative 7. So let me put on negative 7. And let me just check, uh, work this out to see what we get. Inside, I have 18 minus a negative 7. Negative and negative, negative, two of them together becomes plus. So I have, uh, the inside is, let me do this. This is 18 plus 7, which is 25, right? So let me write this as square root of 25, and then minus 2. Will that give us negative 7? I don't know yet. Let's see. Square root of 25 is just the regular number 5, positive 5. Minus 2, is that equal to negative 7? Of course not, because 5 minus 2 is 3. So, this is not an answer. What we found right here, negative 7 and 2, they are just possible answers. So these are just possible answers. So negative 7 and positive 2, they are just possible answers. When you, have to, when you do the check, when you plug in negative 7 into x, as you can see that this one is actually a fake answer. This one doesn't work. Hopefully, x equal to 2 will work. Let's check this out. So, originally, I have square root of 18 minus x is 2. Right, x is 2. And then I want to minus 2. And will that be x, which is 2? So inside, I have 18 minus 2, which is um, 16, square root of 16, minus 2. Is that going to be 2? Square root of 16 is 4. 4 minus 2 equals to 2. And of course, right, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So as we can see that x equal to 2 will make this equation work. And this is the only solution. And uh, when you write down your answer, you need to indicate that x equal to 2 is the only answer or the only solution to the equation. Or you can just simply box x is equal to and then get rid of the negative 7. But I would like to write it down this specifically. Okay? And let me show you guys everything one more time. So, that's it.